History of the Origin of the Tibetan Terriers. To date, there is no consensus on the theory of the origin of Tibetan Terriers. It is not known for certain where exactly the ancestors of these dogs were first discovered in the People's Republic of China or in India. But we can say with confidence that for a very long time these dogs were bred by Tibetan monks. They considered them talismans, holy animals, so they never sold them. Tibetan monks believed that luck could not be sold for money. Only on rare occasions did the monks part with their favorites. They gave them to kind people. Previously, Tibetan terriers were considered small people. They were not treated like pets, but like their children. It was believed that these terriers attract good luck. It was forbidden to offend them, to be disrespectful. There is another version of the origin and development of the breed. Some experts believe the Tibetan terriers were bred not by monks, but by farmers for herding purposes. For this, the largest dogs were selected. Small terriers were given to llamas. The latter treated these animals very carefully, looked after them responsibly. This dog breed came to Europe only in the middle of the 20th century. The British surgeon Agnes Gray brought the terrier to Europe. She received the coveted puppy as a gift from a Tibetan official. Then the woman brought the puppy to her homeland. Since then, Tibetan terriers have been bred and sold in European countries. If for the monks the dog was a talisman, for the farmers it was a shepherd, for the Europeans the doggy became a pet and companion. Tibetan Terrier. Description of the breed. The Tibetan Terrier has an outstanding appearance. He has. Muscular physique, square body shape, long coat, smooth croup, deep set eyes, a wide variety of colors. Regardless of gender, the Tibetan Terrier always has a powerful build. The size of the dog itself is relatively small. The maximum height of a dog can be 41 centimeters. Bitches are a little lower. The weight of the dog, despite the powerful constitution, is average. Usually it does not exceed 13 kilograms. The body of the terrier is muscular, has a pronounced square shape. In general, dogs of this breed are very well proportioned. They look harmonious. The dog's head is of medium size, the croup is perfectly flat, the back is long. The dog's eyes are very inconspicuous, albeit large. They are set wide and deep, hidden by long hair. The tail of the Tibetan Terrier is twisted into a ring. It is covered with thick long hair and is of medium length. The tail should be placed high. The ears are shaped like the Latin letter V. They should be hanging completely covered with thick hair. The animal's jaw is strong, the teeth are healthy, subject to proper nutrition and care, the bite is scissor-shaped. A feature of this breed is the shape of the paws. These dogs have large, round and wide paw pads. In winter, they allow the dog to move freely through the snowdrifts. The coat of the Tibetan Terrier deserves special attention. These dogs are very beautiful. They have a long thick coat. The coat is double, top coat and undercoat. The upper and lower coat is soft, thick. The cover hair is longer. It can be wavy, straight. The fur coat of the Tibetan Terrier should not be curly. The color of the dog can be any. The only exceptions are two colors, chocolate, liver. Popular colors of Tibetan Terriers. Long, shiny coat is the trademark of the Tibetan Terrier. These dogs have a thick double coat. They have an upper base coat and an undercoat that protects the animal from hypothermia or overheating. Terrier coat is straight, soft, and pleasant to the touch. A feature of the breed is the ability to change the shade of the coat with age. In some puppies, it darkens, or vice versa, fades. In most dog breeds, the color range of coat color is limited to a few shades or a combination of them. The Tibetan Terrier is an exception. These dogs are naturally awarded with a wide range of coat colors. The coat of this terrier can be any, from white to black and tan. The only exception is one shade, chocolate. Chocolate Tibetan Terriers do not exist. Tibetan Terriers can be dyed in any natural color. However, only a few shades are very popular. In the first place in demand are puppies of golden color. They are extremely rare, which is why they are considered valuable. Also, some people believe that golden Tibetan Terriers bring good luck. They not only strive to become their owners, but also keep photos of such dogs in the house. White puppies are also popular. White terriers look like small copies of bears. However, caring for such a pet is more difficult. A white dog will have to be washed more often because such wool is very easily soiled. White and black dogs are the third most popular. In this case, the ratio of the amount of white and black is practically irrelevant. Puppies of three colors are rarely bought, white, golden and black. The Nature and Habits of Tibetan Terriers as noted above, Tibetan Terriers do not belong to the Terrier group of dogs. These dogs were named so by the Europeans. Therefore, there are not so many similarities between them and real Terriers. In particular, there are significant differences in the character of Tibetan and real Terriers. Tibetan dogs are just as active, but they are more friendly and sociable than real Terriers. 
As you know, these terriers were previously used as shepherds. However, this did not negatively affect their character. Tibetan dogs are very soft, flexible. There is no aggression in them. Today they are considered one of the best companion dogs. The Tibetan Terrier can live even in families with small children. They get along great with them. Dogs love to be with their families and get bored when they are alone. Also, this breed has several specific qualities. Puppies mature very slowly. Tibetan Terriers cannot concentrate on one thing for a long time. They are often headstrong. In this regard, the Terriers have a rather stubborn, headstrong character. If the puppy is not trained from an early age, it will become practically unmanageable. The training of these dogs also requires an individual approach. It should be borne in mind that the dog quickly loses interest in the exercises and in time to change one task to another. These dogs love dynamic, short-term activities. A feature of the breed is a sharp mind. Tibetan terriers have the ability to quickly memorize new information, clearly follow the commands of their owner. They are willful, but with proper upbringing, they will not show disobedience. Also, such terriers are very sensitive, vulnerable and remember evil for a long time. For this reason, it is strictly forbidden to apply harsh educational measures to them. Interesting facts about Tibetan Terriers. Representatives of the Tibetan Terrier breed have many sporting successes and conquests. These dogs are powerful, active, robust and athletic. They take an active part in various canine sports games, agility, freestyle, frisbee, etc. Tibetan dogs show excellent results. And in winter this pet can safely ride a child on a sled. He has enough strength. The Tibetan Terrier is an ancient breed, but not widespread. In many countries there is still no official breed club. The first club appeared only in 2019. Previously, to buy such a dog, one had to travel to Europe. There, its price could reach 1500 US dollars. Now the puppy can be purchased in Moscow at a lower cost. Very interesting is the fact that Tibetan Terriers practically do not shed. They have a thick long coat, but it does not fall out. Also, wool does not have an unpleasant specific odor. All this makes the Tibetan Terrier an ideal pet for allergy sufferers. These animals will not cause seizures in allergy sufferers because their hair does not fly around the house. This breed of dogs lived either in temples with monks or on farms. For a very long time they were workhorses. The dog received the status of a companion only after it entered Europe. The Europeans considered the animals to be loyal reliable companions. They also awarded the dog its modern name, Tibetan Terrier. The suffix terrier in this case does not indicate that the animal belongs to the group of terriers. Pros and cons of Tibetan terriers. The approach to choosing a pet should be thorough. You cannot rush to buy this or that dog without studying the pros and cons of the breed. Tibetan terriers have many advantages. These dogs, good watchmen, active, calm and friendly, do not fade, movable. Such a pet can guard a house and a person. He is strong enough, brave and always wary of strangers. If the property entrusted to him or a person is in danger, then the terrier will definitely let you know about it and rush to the defense himself. Their guarding qualities are developed thanks to the shepherd's past. This dog has loud and frightening barking, which can sometimes help scare off thieves. Activity, mobility is also a huge plus of the breed. Such a pet will be able to keep a person company, not only at home, but also on the street. He is hardy, loves walking. The Tibetan terrier will be able to accompany its owner on hikes while jogging or just walking. In winter, the doggy will be able to ride a small child on a sled. It's impossible to get bored with such a pet. Another advantage of the breed is its specific ability to bring good luck. Representatives of this breed still live in some temples in Tibet and are considered saints. If we talk about the shortcomings of the breed, then there are relatively few of them. The most basic is the high price. The disadvantage of the Tibetan Terrier is its headstrong nature. The puppy needs to be dealt with from a very young age so that this trait is manifested minimally. At the same time, pet training can also bring a lot of problems. These dogs cannot concentrate for a long time, they like to move a lot. If you cannot raise a Tibetan Terrier on your own, you can contact a professional. Breeding Tibetan Terriers Breeding Tibetan Terriers is not the best solution. Due to its growing popularity among dog breeders, the demand for puppies will definitely be present. And the price of one puppy can reach 900 US dollars. To breed Tibetan Terriers, you will need to buy a couple of puppies at once, a female and a male. This is due to the fact that it will not be easy to find a pair for breeding among dog owners. When choosing a dog and a bitch, you need to take into account their pedigree, state of health. You can buy puppies a little grown up so that you can fully appreciate the appearance of the animals by comparing their parameters with the official standard. Bitch and dog must visit the veterinarian before mating. The doctor will assess the health of the animals, give his recommendations and take the necessary tests. 
if everything is good with health, you can breed. For mating to be successful, dogs must be in good spirits and alone in the room so that they are not distracted from the process. If pregnancy has begun, more vitamins and nutrients should be added to the bitch's diet. After birth, small puppies will also need the care of a breeder. They must be kept warm and clean. The mother of the puppies should receive a complete diet so that she can feed the babies. As puppies grow older, they will need to be vaccinated before they can be put up for sale. Tibetan Terrier Care Caring for this breed of dog should include combing, the washing up, haircut, cleaning eyes, ears, teeth, clipping claws. Dogs of the Tibetan Terrier breed need close attention from the owner. The most difficult point is pet hair care. It should be daily. This is due to the fact that the coat of such terriers is very thick and long. The pet must be examined every time after a walk. Blades of grass, small debris, or tangled hairs can get stuck in the coat. The Tibetan Terrier should be periodically taken to a professional groomer. A specialist will help you choose the optimal haircut, tell you what products you need to purchase for hair care. The haircut of the Tibetan Terrier must be appropriate for the season. In the cold period, the animal's coat should be left long, and the warm period, cut shorter. These animals do not tolerate heat well. Also, daily the dog needs to be combed with a special brush. So that the process does not bring discomfort to the dog, the coat can be slightly moistened with water beforehand. This will make it easier for the brush teeth to pass between the hairs. Tibetan terriers practically do not shed, and daily brushing will help prevent even minimal shedding. This is especially important if there is an allergic person in the family. The ears and eyes of the animal also need care. They should be wiped with damp cotton pads as they become dirty. This will help avoid the appearance of various ailments, atitis media, inflammation, irritation. The teeth of the animal also need to be brushed to avoid early decay. This requires a silicone brush. Claws can be trimmed with a nail clipper yourself or entrusted with this work to a groomer. Diet of Tibetan Terriers In order for the Tibetan Terrier to grow up healthy and strong, the dog needs proper and comprehensive nutrition. The dog's diet needs to be adjusted, taking into account the state of his health, weight, age. It is best to seek help from a veterinarian or breeder to help you get the right diet. It is also important to compose and strictly adhere to the diet, avoiding various snacks. This will keep your weight in shape. Tibetan Terrier puppies need a high-fat diet and adults need to eat more dietary foods. Older dogs need an increased dose of vitamins and minerals. This is due to the fact that with age, they begin to be absorbed worse by the animal's body. You can feed a Tibetan Terrier dog in one of two ways. Natural food, dry specialized feed. Each feeding method has its own advantages and disadvantages. Natural feeding takes time. The dog needs to be given fresh vegetables, cereals, fruits, meat, dairy products every day. The host will have to prepare a portion of food several times every day. You can feed eggs, lean meats, fish, various cereals, and fermented milk products. You cannot give sweets to your pet. It is much more convenient to feed your dog with industrial food. However, this can be more expensive. For the Tibetan Terrier, only high-quality food is suitable. They contain in their composition a full range of all the elements that a dog needs for growth and development. Regardless of the chosen feeding method, the owner should not give food to the dog from his table, even if he asks. This is dangerous for the health of the animal. Diseases and health problems. Dogs of the Tibetan Terrier breed cannot be called problematic. Proper nutrition, daily walks, adherence to the vaccination schedule and love from the owner make the terrier strong, resilient and healthy. However, like any other living being, Tibetan dogs are subject to certain ailments. Many of them are more common among the representatives of this particular breed. The weak point in Tibetan terriers is the joints. These dogs are often pursued by inflammation of the joints, dislocations, various diseases of the patel. Slightly less common is a more serious ailment, hip dysplasia. The extremities of the animal should be examined periodically. If problems are identified in a timely manner, serious consequences can be avoided. Another weak point of the animal is the eyes. As you know, these dogs have deep-set eyes. Because of this, they are almost completely covered by a long and thick coat. Wool and dirt from it often appear on the eyes, which leads to their inflammation and the appearance of various problems. To avoid infectious diseases, the eyes of the animal must be cleaned daily. In third place in terms of prevalence can be called diseases of the teeth and gums. However, in this case, the fault lies with the owner. With proper care, dental problems do not arise. In general, dogs of the Tibetan Terrier breed have strong immunity, hardy organism. This is due to the fact that they were bred specifically for living in false conditions. Therefore, these pets rarely get sick. Tibetan Terrier. Price and how to buy correctly. Tibetan Terrier puppy, pleasure is not cheap. 
It was only in their homeland that dogs were not sold but were presented to good people. On the territory of Russia and Europe, dogs are successfully sold and are in high demand. These dogs have an unusual appearance, have good health, and become true friends for their owners. Therefore, many dog breeders want to own such a pet. The price of a Tibetan Terrier puppy has always been and remains high. It costs at least $300. You will have to pay much more for a doggy from famous parents. In connection with such a high price, the choice of the Tibetan Terrier must be approached early, taking into account not only the breed standards but also other qualities. However, the breed standards must still be learned by heart before buying. When choosing a puppy, you should pay attention to its activity and coat condition. The animal should be cheerful, agile. The coat of the Tibetan Terrier should be clean, soft to the touch, beautiful. The color of the animal can be anything except chocolate. If you are offered a chocolate dog, you should refuse. This is a marriage of the breed. If the coat is hard, sparse, or falls out, then this indicates an illness in the animal. You should not take a puppy if it shuns people, behaves suspiciously or is very aggressive. You should also avoid babies with dirty or sore eyes. When choosing a puppy, it is better to get acquainted, not only with the kids, but also with their parents. This will give an opportunity to understand how the dogs will look in the future. An important point is the study of the pedigree of the animal. The Tibetan Terrier is an obedient and beautiful pet native to distant Tibet. This is an unusual dog that will catch the eyes of passers-by. The doggy has a powerful physique, an intelligent look and a chic thick coat. He is executive and extremely friendly. Among other things, Tibetan Terriers know how to attract good luck and prosperity to the family. In their homeland, they are considered talismans.